All right, people, we're back. Uh, IllegalElbow.com. This is Brian here. Uh, we are going. Uh, we're going to have a show tomorrow. BlogTalkRadio.com slash MMA Lowdown. So I want to let you guys know right up, right up front here. Uh, MMA Lowdown is our kind of our tag for Blog Talk, kind of like where you get the lowdown on what's going on, all the news and stuff like that. Because there is an MMA Lowdown.com. And I wanted to let you guys know we're not affiliated with them. In case you find them on there, it's a good page, cool page. If you guys want to check it out, but uh, um, we're not affiliated with them. We're illegalelbow.com. Speaking of illegalelbow.com, we're having some problems. Apparently, there's been some uh, people that just can't get memberships done. You know, they can't basically can't sign onto the page. But I've noticed a few people from uh, the UK have been okay with it, which I thought was kind of weird. It's like you know, a couple people in this country have had problems, but elsewhere they're fine so you know I don't know I don't know I don't know what what's the matter with it you know and obviously something's out, something's out, you know going on with the network which pisses me off but we may end up taking our business elsewhere which I'm just gonna create more problems but hey we gotta do what we gotta do you know to keep it going so uh, just a couple little topics you know kind of news that I've kind of went down the last couple shows and stuff like that I wasn't able to bring in here um, things that I thought were interesting Shane Carmen with the steroid thing going on. It really sucks, man. You know what I mean? Demons coming back, biting you in the ass. Gotta say, I really hope that, uh... I really hope it kind of blows over and he can kind of move on because, I mean, how many times have we already seen that happen with other other fighters? You know, excuse me, other athletes. You know, guys in baseball, football. You know what I mean? They get busted for something like that and just too bad the feds are really involved. You know, it's not like a... a, a a bad test or something, you know, for some reason the feds are involved in this, so hopefully, I don't know, hopefully we start finding out some good news about it, but uh, right now, I don't know much about it, um, did, he, did he purchase them or whatever, you know, from, I don't remember the doctor's name, but, uh, anyway, James Tony's been spouting off some funny stuff, but saying, uh, Randy Couture's, what's that, what's that movie he's called, it's, uh, The Expendables? Oh yeah, he's expendable, all right. <laughs> I thought that was actually pretty funny, but uh, Tony Tony's not really showing uh, Couture a lot of respect. I think uh, the best idea for for Couture, obviously, is to uh, you better put James, James Tony on his back because you don't want to you don't want to take one of those uh, one of those hits. So put him on his back, ground and pound. Go with that, man. I can't see how uh, he could be as much of a experienced wrestler as Randy Couture, but hey, you know what I mean. Weirder things have happened, so we'll see, man. It's going to be going down soon. I'm excited about it. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, in MMA, 28 fights, and Randy Couture's in the Hall of Fame. James Tony said that uh, 28 fights in boxing would make Randy Couture a bum. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just little little uh, little stuff that he's been saying. I thought were pretty funny, but uh, um, we are gonna, like I said, we are gonna do a show tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Phone number is 917-889-8894. If you guys wanna uh, hop over to Blog Talk, search MMA Lowdown, or you know BlogTalkRadio.com forward slash MMA Lowdown, you'll find us there. Uh, show should be scheduled already, I think so. You want to head over there to make sure you know where to find it. Head over there now. And uh, jump on. Be a listener. We need more of those. We're, <laughs> we're fairly new to blog talks, so we need more listeners, man. Jump on with us. Jump on our homepage, too, because you might actually be able to sign in. Some people uh, around here haven't been able to. I don't know why, but it's screwed up, man. It's pissing me off, too. But, hey, we'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out. Apparently, out of uh, Iowa... There's a, uh, this is a guy that called us on Blog Talk, too. He's uh, one of the investors for Deliverance Fight League. It's happening in uh, Iowa. Uh, it's happening February, February of uh, 2011, so way off in the future. Or, yeah, it's way off in the future. Got about six months to go till we get to that, but I just thought it was kind of cool. You know, he called in, kind of wanted to get, you know, tips from us, you know what I mean? Because he's, he's not much of a, a fight fan, so. Anyway, yeah, so we kind of talked to him about, you know, what, what's what's going on. Apparently he's got a uh, retired, not a retired, excuse me, uh, a 
fighter that was in UFC. So I don't know. We'll kind of find out. Find out. He, he didn't know the guy's name, so we're gonna find out who it is and uh, hopefully get that figured out. Eddie Alvarez is gonna be taking on uh, Roger Huerta in Bellator. I don't know the exact date, but it's coming up. So that should be cool, man. It should be a very cool fight. Tito Ortiz says that Matt Hamill has a soft head and no equilibrium. Some Tito Ortiz news. You guys know how I like Tito. He's a great guy, you know. Uh, Tito's going to be looking for small, soft shots to... Uh, to take out Matt Hamill. Small soft shots. No, no, not hard shots, but so small soft shots because it's going to throw off his equilibrium. And uh, he's got a soft head, so some soft shots. And uh, about the second, third round, you know, in the end of the second, somewhere in the third round, he'll be, he'll be going to sleep. You know? Have we ever seen anything that gave any kind of indication that Matt Hamill had a soft head? I don't know. I, he's got pretty good e equilibrium, too, with the way he wrestles, you know. I'm not going to say he's a you know world class wrestler or something, but he's already proven he's a pretty good wrestler. He's got good balance. You know what I mean? Equilibrium is basically your balance. You know what I mean? If, if your equilibrium's off, you're off. So if he has no equilibrium, I, I don't know. It, it just it's a bunch of hogwash to me. So um, another kind of thing I thought was pretty funny is Chael Sonnen was saying that Anderson Silva is the kind of guy that soaks himself down in baby oil before he walks out to a fight. I thought that was funny because if he soaked himself down in baby oil, why wouldn't it have been a lot easier for you to get out of that submission? <laughs> if you're going to accuse somebody of some kind of greasing or whatever, or, you know, make an accusation like that, at least think about it before you say it because that was a stupid ass comment and just made him look worse. Well, yeah, I guess you have no submission defense then. That's your problem. Anyway, let's let's see him. Uh, he's going to be keeping going on. Uh, blows Bing, Michael Bisbing has been saying a lot of crap about him too. So <laughs> hopefully they go at it because I think Chael will kill uh, Bisbing. But that's another funny thing too. Michael Bisbing thinks that uh, he's two fights away from a title shot. He just beat Dan Miller. Dan Miller has been not really been doing all that great. Um, and before he beat Dan Miller, he lost to Vanderlei Silva. You lose to Vanderlei Silva, you beat Dan Miller, and then you're two west, two spots away from a title shot. That doesn't make any sense to me. So he's probably going to fight Chael Sonnen next, or, or whatever. Whoever he fights next, he'll probably fight Chael Sonnen before he gets a title shot, I'm assuming. And if that's the case, by some grace of, by some grace of God, if, if some, I don't know, Chael Sonnen gets struck, struck by lightning or something in the middle of the match, or something, I don't know. That he wins, I'll tell you what, man. I, 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 he's gonna get murdered if he fights Anderson Silva. If he makes it somehow to Anderson Silva, which I, I cannot see happening, and I cannot see why he even want to try, but that that's a funeral match. That's you know, get the Hearst ready, you know, Paul Bears, everything. Because th there's no way he'll make it out of first run. No way he'll make it out of first run. I mean, unless Anderson Silva has a broke neck, a broken neck or something. That's the only way he'll make it out of the match. I, I, it's the only way I see it happening. So, Anyway, just a little, couple little funny things to throw at you guys. A uh, couple things about the Blog Talk show. So don't miss out tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're on every, every Wednesday and every Sunday. So until further notice. Um, but this Wednesday we'll be moving it up to 9 o'clock. Eastern Standard Time, so hope to hear from you guys, 917-889-8894, we'll see you guys, man, take care, have a good weekend.